Hey there, welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and this is just a quick studio update of some of the things I've been working on and some of the new things that are coming in the next year. So the first thing is something that's been percolating in my mind for over a year. Now, many quilt designers are also fabric designers. And to be honest, that has never really been something that was um, a dream of mine, something that I thought about doing for a couple of reasons. First, I thought there are so many beautiful, amazing fabrics already. I didn't know if the world needed anything from me. And the second thing is I'm not really an artist in the sense of drawing and painting. It's often in images like that, the idea that's in my mind doesn't come out onto paper the way I'm anticipating. And so I never really um, had a goal of being a fabric designer. But then over a year ago, I had this idea for something. And as I thought about it, I became more interested in the idea and something that I wanted to do. And so for the past year, I've been just working on it in little bits and pieces of time. Um, I took a course to help me learn the technical skills that I would need to do this. And so I'm really excited now that I finally have um, a fabric collection that I have designed. And what's different about this fabric collection is that it's fabric. So it's fabric you can use for a quilting project or sewing project, but it also has built in embroidery designs. And so I have some of it here to show you. So this piece, this is the first idea that I had. So it's these polka dots. And this is based on my snowflake Christmas ornaments. And so it has this snowflake designs. And so this is polka dot fabric that you could just use um, in a quilt or whatever sewing project. But these circles are also the size that you could put these in a four inch hoop or you could put them in a three inch hoop and you could stitch these. These are embroidery um, designs. So you could stitch these and make uh, little hooped items like ornaments or, um, or a little pin cushion or any type of little stitching project. So this was my original idea to have polka dots um, and I love the blue and white combination. Uh, but then as I was working on this and this was turning out, I began to think of other variations that I could have. So I thought this is fun as fabric, but if you wanted to use these as ornaments or fussy cut the pieces to use in quilt projects, then it is not, it's not as efficient to cut circles out of this piece. So I thought, if it was a grid with squares, that would be more efficient to cut out. And so I have this fabric. So this is the same designs, uh, but this little check can also be used as fabric. But if you want to use these, these are also just the right size. So you could cut these out and you would have many um, ornaments. Also, these squares are four and a half inches square. So if you want to do fussy cutting to use these in a quilt project, then it's just the right size to finish at four inches. So if you wanted to use these in the center of a star or in some other quilt project, then these will finish at four inches. So that is really convenient size. And also this looks great as fabric as well. So I was happy with that one. And then I had a, another idea to do a variation on that. So this is a similar one, but this has more tile designs. So this again, it could be used as fabric. You could um, put the little pieces in hoop or you could fussy cut. There's a lot of things you can do. It just looks a little bit different. So that one turned out nicely too. Then I took just my snowflake designs and I made just yardage fabric. So this coordinates, it's a similar colors. 
um, but it's just the snowflakes. And so I have this available with different backgrounds. So this is the dark blue background and I have medium, light blue, and then a gray background. So this is coordinating. If you wanted to do a quilt project, then you could use um, this fabric with that. And then um, I was thinking about having bigger embroidery designs besides just the small tiny ones. So I have a couple of those options too. So this is a fat quarter and you can see that the fat quarter has four little pieces and these, um, the little circles in here are just a guide. These are about six and a half inches square. So that means you could use this in a bigger hoop. You could make a hoop to hang on the wall, or you could use this also to fussy cut for in a quilt project um, in a bigger piece. Um, so that is another option. There's a lot of options you could do with this. So the fat quarter comes with four options. So you could uh, make a piece to hang on the wall that would coordinate with Christmas tree ornaments or use them in a quilt. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with that. And then the last one I have is this is a fat quarter and this is a single fat quarter with a single design. And so this could be used for a large hoop. This could be a 12 inch hoop or it could also be um, fussy cut for a quilt project, or this would be a really nice size to make a cushion. So you could make a cushion or pillow to coordinate with your uh, pieces to hang on the wall, to coordinate with your um, Christmas ornaments. Um, and so these all could be just used as is, or you could hand stitch on the snowflakes just to add extra texture to it. And so I'm really um, excited that I have this fabric now and I have to start stitching on it to make some projects. So this is available at Spoonflower. So it's um, custom printing. So if you're interested in it, I have the link below, you can check and go see what they have. And you can order even just a fat quarter. Um, and so it seems like uh, nice quality fabric and I'm really really happy with how it turned out and I'm going to be um, doing some stitching on this. I'm also planning on doing this same thing but in red and white. I just have to get around to doing that. I have all the files I just have to um, change the colors on them um, and I think red and white would also look beautiful as snowflakes. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, if you um, if you like it, I would love to hear your feedback on that, on what you think about fabric that has built-in embroidery designs, but it's optional designs. So you can see this would look great on a quilt like this, or if you did the hand stitching on it, it would just add some extra texture. So yeah, let me know uh, what you think of that idea. Something else I'm really excited about is something I've been working on for a while. And this is my new uh, block of the month for 2025. So if you've been following me, you know the last two years I've done block of the month and it's a block every month and it's been a traditional quilt block with embroidery embellishment. And so you can go to my website if you wanna see what I've done. And that's been really fun. But for 2025, I wanted to do something a little bit differently. And the one thing I didn't want to do, just 12 inch blocks. So the last two years, I've been just kind of making a block every month and then it goes together like a sampler quilt. But for 2025, I wanted to have more a plan of how the finished quilt was gonna look instead of just having 12 um, different blocks. And so, I've done the quilt and I can give you just a sneak peek of it, but this quilt is called Everyday Superstar. And the story behind Everyday Superstar has a couple of different meanings. But first of all, it's because this quilt, it doesn't have a lot of complicated elements in it. Most of it is squares and half square triangles. Uh, there are a couple things like flying geese, but those, it could even be made with half square triangles if you weren't comfortable with those. And so it's pretty traditional 
in the uh, the shapes that it has and here's just a sneak peek of one corner of it but it does have an overall different layout it has a center block and then um, different blocks around it and the blocks are all different sizes and so if you want to see a whole, the picture of the whole quilt, it's revealed. It's not a mystery quilt. So you know what you're doing before you start it. Um, then I have a link below. You can go check out and see this. But I'm really, I love how it turned out. But the other reason why it's called the Everyday Superstar Quilt is because this quilt reminded me it just uses basic regular shapes, but it makes something amazing. And it reminded me of all the people in our lives who are not um, celebrities, they're not rich and powerful people, but they are amazing people who help others and they make a huge impact in our lives. And so I asked the people that are on my newsletter list if they wanted to nominate someone who is a superstar in their life. And I had a lot of people nominate other people and they shared about um, their neighbor who helped them when they were going through postpartum depression or they talked about um, their mom who sacrificed for their family and was a big impact and there were so many um, great stories that I heard it I was kind of crying when I saw all these stories and was reading them all um, and so each month of these is going to be named for somebody who was nominated as a superstar and you'll get to hear all the stories and then maybe think about who are the superstars in your life and how you can be a superstar in somebody else's life and so um, that is another um, reason behind the name of this quilt and so it just makes me really happy to think of how we can um, help other people and just make a difference in the world with kindness so be sure to look out for this the first block is going to be released in january 2025 but this is actually going to be a full course it's not just a pattern and so um it's going to be released in just about a week but if you uh, sign up for the course, then before getting to the blocks, then there's also introductory lessons. So you can learn about choosing fabric and get tips for, um, for making half square triangles and all the other skills that you're gonna need. So each block is going to have a downloadable, printable pattern of instructions, but it's also gonna have a video to go along with it. Um, so uh, watch for that. Um, there is going to be a significant discount for early bird registrations. So if this is something that you want to do, then um, sign up for my email list and then you'll be the first to hear and you'll get a discount that will not be available to the regular um, public. So check the link below. Um, there's a thing you can go on a waiting list that says, let me know when this is going to be released and that's when you'll get the best um, discount for that. This one I've made is in shades of blue and white with gray, but you can see on the page, there's lots of other um, color options that you'll be able to see, so you can um, get some inspiration for using other color combinations. So be watching out for that. And then the last thing I need to share that I'm working on is um, I'm planning in 2025 to do a number of new quilt patterns. And that is, of course, it's a big process. And part of the process is because when I make the patterns, I actually make at least one and sometimes multiple of every quilt that I have the pattern for. I would never just make a pattern and publish it without actually making the quilt myself. And I want to have um, quilt testers to test the pattern. So I'm starting the process on some new quilts. So this is one, and I love how this one turned out. I used some batik fabric that I had. It's quite large. It's a pretty large um, quilt. So I think I'm going to add some 
extra size options to the pattern because some people might not want something this big. And this one is called Friendship Trails. So you can be looking out for that. And also, if you're on my newsletter list, I'm gonna be putting out another call for pattern testers. So you can see what is involved in being a pattern tester and what you would get from being a pattern tester. Um, so, uh, yeah, so look out for that. If you're interested in being on my pattern testing list, then you can contact me. So um, I have so many things that I'm working on right now, and I'm really excited about coming up to the end of the year and what's gonna happen in 2025. So if you have any questions about any of this, then um, drop a comment below and I'll happy to answer, or you can send me a message. So thanks so much for joining me here in the studio. And until next time, happy stitching.